Hi, this is Kiki Lashantis, and welcome to my channel. So, a little bit about myself, seeing as this is episode number one. Um, uh, this channel is kind of kind of be a crazy all-in-one kind of situation. I am a singer, a burlesque performer, but on top of all of that, I'm also disabled. And the disability side of it is a somewhat new situation. And I decided it might be a good decision to start voicing some of the things that are going on in my life um, and things I have noticed and experienced in the best possible way with advice for people with disabilities and people going through adversities. Now, I am going to note, I am not a psychologist, a therapist, a counselor, um, or really super experienced with this. This is simply my experiences and my advice and things that I know work for me. What you do with it is totally at your discretion. So please note that. <laughs> um, so a little bit about myself. Um, I've been a professional singer since I was about five years old um, and have done several big events uh, here in the Bay Area as well as um, in different parts of the US. I um, have always had a deep-seated love for the jazz from the 20s all the way through the 60s. And that's kind of where my love really emanates from. Um, I'm not a super glamorous girl, though I do love my 50s clothing and tend to stick in that realm. Um, as you can see, I love my, I love my color as my hair is bright pink. Um, and so I tend to be a lot of, I tend to be really more boisterous when it comes to my, um, my personality and my exterior than my voice. Um, and so this is kind of like my outlet. Um, Burlesque, I started about um, a year and a half ago um, and really loved it. And it m molded the two loves in my life of vintage and singing. Um, there aren't many chanteuses, as we are called, um, in the singing realm of burlesque. Um, and so I decided to mold those two things together to make, ta-da, moi. So, um, but um, in, on February 10th, 2016, um, so not that very long ago, I was involved in an accident. Um, I had not been burlesquing for too very long. Um, before the accident happened, um, and my burlesquing career had just started taking off. I was on my way to work, and at the time I was working in the security field um, in the nightclub industry. And a Lyft driver ran a stop sign. And from there, you can kind of guess what happened. Um, I was in the hospital for two weeks. And when I came out of the hospital, I found out that I have something called a brachial plexus damage. Um, the brachial plexus is the three nerves that control your arm. Mine have been damaged pretty greatly. Um, I have use of my hand and my wrist as well as my shoulder, but not a lot else. Um, I can do my bicep and tricep and my forearm, not so great. It's taken a lot to get to this point, uh, and it's been a tough one. I deal with depression and as well as um, a TBI. 
if some of you don't know what a TBI is, a TBI is, stands for traumatic brain injury. In the beginning, they thought it was a concussion. Traumatic brain injury can lead to a lot of situations. It makes it difficult for the person to have cognitive control. Sometimes I have problems looking at people in their faces. I can have problems with memory, um, as well as um, trying to find the right words. It also has affected my personality. I used to be a lot more personal in public. I tend not to like crowds as much anymore and things along those lines. So I have kind of gotten into a different realm for myself and unsure of myself in many senses. And I decided that um, it might be a good idea to do videos and things like that for young individuals to understand some of the difficulties as well as understanding that they're really not alone in some of the problems that they may be facing as well as knowing that um, they have somebody to kind of connect to and feel a part of. Like I said before, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a counselor, I'm not, I don't have training, I don't have anything along those lines. This is simply me venting and voicing and putting out there some generalized thought processes and kind of letting the world get down with understanding a little bit more that disability isn't necessarily a you're in a wheelchair or you walk with a cane. Um, it's not always a physical situation. It's very much and can be a, a lot of mental and um, doesn't always manifest itself in a way that a lot of people necessarily think of. So I hope you guys submit to yourself to dealing with me um, and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys soon. Have a lovely day guys. Good night.